Team Libra. Hi, this is Caroline with your monthly love reading. This is for uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and the energies can go either way. So if I say Libra, I can be talking to you, Cross Watcher. Cross Watcher is also welcome. Okay, guys, so Spirit Messages. We got the Lamb. I love this energy for you. Okay, so this is about speaking truth. This is about a message coming through, Libra, okay? I feel like you're contemplating in regards to connecting back to this person. For some of you, you had a falling out, okay? And um, it makes you feel unstable. It makes you feel unsafe, okay? And with this lamb energy, what I'm getting is that you need to address a situation or this other person needs to address a situation. This I'm talking about your situation, whatever it is, because, okay. And another thing I'm picking, okay, someone needs to say how they feel with this connection. And it's like they're kind of battling their masculine and feminine energies is what I'm picking up with this card. So it's like, whoever this person is, they are frustrated, okay? They are frustrated with the situation. For some of you, you've been going back and forth in this connection, and it's like you keep thinking you're, you're going forward, and all of a sudden, it's like a brake paddle. It's like something is putting, um, I mean, something, someone, whoever is putting um, a break on it, okay? So it could be the energies, it could be the person you're dealing with, Libra, okay? So something needs to be said, um, and you need to, okay, so what Spirit is saying is like, we know you're frustrated, we know you're frustrated, but you need to say what you have to say, okay? And you need to express this to the other person or cross watcher. This is you with the Libra. It's like, say whatever you have to say because, um, and what's important is to get into your feminine energy. Okay. Um, is what's coming up. Whether you are male or female, you have to get into your feminine energy when it comes to communicating with this person when it comes to um having that conversation okay having that conversation because you need to have compassion regardless of how frustrated you are you need to have compassion with this person okay um and yourself at the same time okay because there is like, it's like you feel like there's a, um, a shark turning around you and it's like, okay, you got to speak up. You got to say something. You got to say something, Libra. But it's like you're not saying whatever you have to say, you know. So that needs to be communicated. Also, Spirit is trying to get you a message for some of you. You need to meditate on this um, so you know exactly what to say and how you really feel and say it through compassion is what I'm getting, okay, with this card. So we're going to get into the tarot. Oh, and also some, somebody might be pregnant. So um, I'm getting somebody might be pregnant. Awesome. I love it. Uh, okay. I saw what that was. Okay. This is interesting. So Libra, I feel, okay. <laughs> Magician. Okay. This could be you, Lib. You could be a Libra Scorpio Cusper or you could be um, dealing with a Scorpio. Someone is manifesting this connection, okay? And some of you have been holding on for a long time, not communicating with this person 
kind of like in um because we got the high priestess too okay so it's like you're manifesting this you're working through it energetically take it how it resonates but at the same time it's like you've been holding on to this manifesting like whatever's going on in the i mean in the recent past is what i'm talking about like you know that your connection was not you know in the physical realm going how you wanted to but you had a lot of faith that it was going to uh you know it was going to get there because the high priestess you know does her his magic doesn't matter if you're him or her does their magic and is like you know waits just waits doesn't communicate about it doesn't you know put the energy does not doubt okay you've been like this for a long time okay and you are manifesting it but i feel for most of you it's like you want it to, you are getting frustrated with being in this high priestess mode though that's what i'm picking up you're frustrated like okay is this when is this going to happen i am working on this i am i've been trying to manifest it for such a long time what not and then it's like either this person you're dealing with you guys had some type of an argument or a falling out and you're like so it's not working so libra you are questioning yourself you are questioning yourself whether you're manifesting this or not it's like i feel like you lost some faith or you're doubting this connection now because you're not seeing it in the 3d as where before you did see it in the 3d okay you did see, i mean um i mean you both okay God. spirit is talking to me so fast to you libra i swear like you got you, you need to hear this message so you are doubting it now that it's actually working you're doubting yourself but spirit is saying it is working it is working it's just divine timing some things need to come into okay so what i'm getting is um i'm seeing someone rearrange stuff so spirit is saying things are being you know rearranged oh my god it looks so fast when i do that okay i guess that's what it's happening you might see as slow in the um physical realm but things are being um rearranged is what i'm getting this is interesting um i do not know your life so i don't know what that means to you but take it how it resonates things are being rearranged in i feel like one person's life because i feel like it's more of like the one person who's not um really working energetically i say that or trying to manifest this connection it's more or less like they want it yeah okay let's see what this is about okay this is interesting okay libra hold on okay yep so this is what i'm getting from this okay don't be scared libra okay this person is getting out of some type of deceptive energy what i'm picking up with this is though that they're, they're they're deceiving themselves okay and they're not really being completely honest about how they feel towards you okay so it's like they're not telling you how much you mean they mean to you i mean how much you mean to them there's things that they are holding back okay this is very interesting and this person has also their heart energy is closed off so you could be you know maybe some of you are doing some sort of healing on this person but it's like they were closed off okay you might not have realized it because this person was going in and out of being closed off and opened up so this person really confused you that's what i want to say for some of you so you would get like little bits of pieces of this person opening up to you and then closing up so it's like i i'm getting like 
a pulsating heart chakra, which is like it opens and then something happens and it closes up. Opens, closes up. Opens, closes up. For whoever this is, okay? So that's why um, I feel like this person is deceiving themselves because it's not their truth. This person does want to open up to you. Um, they might be scared because this has this person has an issue with being upfront, is what I want to say. Okay. Um, and every time this person feels okay, this is what I want to say. There's a real fear energy when it goes on with this person. Okay. Um, oh God, I have to watch this afterwards. I have Libra aspect too. So, um, in my chart, so this is about this person as soon as I you know, a conversation, a feeling. It's like they feel like that loving moment. You know those loving moments you get? Romantic or what, whatever. And Libra, you're thinking, oh my God, this is it. Like, this is it. We're going to take this to another level. It's like the person runs or they close up. Their heart closes up. And it has to do with fear. It has to do with their past, how hurt they are. Somebody is really, really... Um, um, had a rough childhood is what I'm picking up with this, that they were neglected, they were very hurt, um, they were not taught how to express their emotions, Libra, and this is going to be like really the opposite of you, okay? I feel like you're pretty straight out, you know, because <coughs> this could be an earth energy you're dealing with, okay? For some of you, I'm picking up Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this person, every time they have that feeling, that loving feeling, okay, they run. They close up. Their heart closes up. I see their heart closing up. And it's due to fear of being hurt, okay? So keep that in mind. Do not doubt yourself. Do not doubt your magician capabilities. Do not doubt if you're a high priestess. You're a high priest. Do not doubt that. It's just that this person is still, you know, um, going through some type of um, heart chakra. Yeah, they're, that's what it is. Yeah. This is the same kind of energy, okay? They could also be in Aries or Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Gemini. Okay. This person doesn't know what to do. So if they're not communicating you with you right now or communication isn't consistent, it's because they don't know what to do. Okay? They are coming out. Like I said, I don't feel like their heart is completely closed up. It just closes up because they fear. Okay? So they're trying to decide, do I take action? Do I not? This person does not have the mojo. Okay? I'm just going to say mojo. I'm not going to say what my spirits are telling me right now. This person does not have the mojo, okay, <laughs> to take the lead, okay, in their emperor energy. They don't. You want this person to take action. For some of you, you know what this person is capable of in a good way. Like, you know once they say yes, it's like, Everything's going to fall into place. But in this, in this mode, Libra, where this person has a closed off, like, like I said, open and closing of the heart chakra, which is fear, okay, it's fear-based, they can't be the emperor right now. You can't be the emperor when you're in fear, right? You can't be an emperor even though you know it is the right thing. This person knows it's the right thing for you to get together. This person knows it's the right thing to take your connection to the next level. But it's like, can they do it? Because the emperor is, okay, this is was in reverse, by the way, the emperor. I'm going to take it in reverse. The emperor is never indecisive. Let me tell you that. The emperor knows every move they make. Okay? 
but this person is stuck in this two of swords energy like what should i do what should i do okay so it's like there's no emotions here because it's so much fear there's so much fear involved and this person might not be reaching out to you. Um, and what you're thinking, Libra, I feel like for some of you, you told this person, you know this person is not as spiritually advanced as you. Take it how it resonates. That does not, it's not anything negative. It's just that you work on yourself in the spiritually more than this person does. Like you might be a spiritualist yourself. You might be a healer. Um, take it how it resonates. You know what I'm talking about. So, and you're thinking, okay, we could grow together, right? But this person does not see that. This person does not see that. Okay. And also, it's like you don't want that person to know that you support everything, in a sense, because... It doesn't help them come out of their insecurities, okay? And also, there's a small group I'm picking up that this person still lives with an ex or still lives with, I don't know, um, an ex or um, their mother. That's what I'm picking up. And that's really affecting you both too because... They can't be free. They can't be free to um Yeah, it's 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 not it's not a healthy environment that they're growing up in. I mean they're living in. Well yeah, growing up into already, that's what I was saying earlier. They have they've had a rough childhood. Okay. So there's a lot of issues when it comes to home, their home environment for this person. If you wanted to move in with them or vice versa. Take it whichever way the energies are. It's like they had a rough childhood. They had a rough home environment. They're trying to, they can't make up their mind. They don't know what to do. It's very fear-based. And you don't feel safe, Libra. You don't feel safe with this person. Even you've wanted to help this person in the past. Maybe you said, all right, you know, we'll do it together, whatever. Yeah, I got your, see? Libra, this is your card. Justice. You want it to be fair. You want it to be balanced. And I know for some of you, you just want to pull this person out of whatever fear they have and whatnot. But you have to do what's right for you. Okay? Because this could have been, un you know, you feel emotionally off because of them. Because I feel like there's this pulling down energy, okay? Yeah, for some of you, there could have been some type of a third party. Third parties can be anyone. It could be, you know, an ex. It could be family. It could be anything. Take it how it resonates, but... Yeah, somebody's really depressed. Um, there's a new journey, okay? Um, what are you trying to tell me? There's something new that needs to... There's, there needs to be a new journey when it has to do with this connection. I feel like someone is not really speaking up because they are afraid of the other person's reaction to what they're saying. Um, you need to speak up, Libra, if this is you, a cross-watcher, because things need to be different than what they are before. Um, cycle, okay? So I'm getting there's an ending of a cycle in your connection. So whatever you've been doing all this time, um, it needs to change. Not that it's wrong, but there needs to, this new cycle needs to start. 
And for some of you, it's because you have been um, enabling the closing off of emotions. Take it how it resonates. It could be you. It could be with this person. It's like you, you're you coddling. You've coddled this person too much is what I'm getting. It's like I'm getting this. You know, coddling them. It's like um, there's only so much you could do for someone, right? When they are in fear energy, when they, you know they've had, for some of you know they've had a rough childhood or a rough past, take it how it resonates, and you've done so much to coddle this person that this person is like codependent too with your energy, and they know that however, you know, I feel like this like, whatever happens you're going to take care of them no you need to get them out of that you need to get them and it's beautiful libra if you've been doing this it's beautiful but this person needs to stand up on their own not that doesn't mean that away from you or not with you it just means they need to stand up on their own they need to be independent and they need to learn how to express themselves Okay, express their emotions because I'm not getting emotions right here. I'm getting someone who's holding on to their emotions. I'm getting someone who's been closed off and you're just like, you're such a happy-go-lucky person, Libra, and you haven't realized this person is really bringing you down. When you entertain them when they're in the sphere mode. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so, you know, take it how it resonates. This needs, this, this relationship, this connection needs a um, 180. Okay, it needs a 180. Oh my God, did you guys just see how that card flipped up the other way around? Did you guys see that? This card, how it just went like this? When I said that, yeah. It needs a 180 to get to this Nine of Cups for your wishes to come true. It needs a 180. And I want to, and I'm getting like, oh, what are you talking about? Listen, it's not that the connection is off. It's not that the connection has no feelings. It's not that the connection, um, it's a good connection. There's no question about it. It is good. Okay, you wished for this person, this person wished for you, and then you met, and then it's like all this baggage is at the surface of this connection. Okay, somebody needs healing, the other person um, needs, to, needs to learn how to react in a connection. It's like one person needs the heart healing, the other person needs to know how to express themselves. Okay. You wish for this, they wish for this, right? But this connection needs a 180 is what I'm getting. Spirit is saying in order for that wish to be fulfilled, right? The nine of cups. Some of you want a spiritual connection, okay? You want that higher love with this person. But it's like it has to be um, reconstructed is what I'm getting, Um yeah, 180. However you did it before, Libra, it needs to change. Or whoever is watching, okay? You could start from zero. Start from zero. Like you're meeting this person all over again. Okay, and I'm, you're probably thinking, oh my God, seriously, Caroline, I have been, I put so much work into this connection. Um, it doesn't mean that you're throwing away everything. It just means you're starting in a new way, okay? That's what Spirit is saying. It doesn't mean you're throwing away all the things from the past, all the energies. It just means the energy is being redistributed, okay? So um, somebody else got that. Was that Virgo? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Or was that cancer? I don't know. Anyways, leaves. So, yeah, this needs to be reconstructed, reorganized, this con connection. 
Yeah, because you somebody keeps feeling abandoned every time it doesn't work out. It's like you're left out in the cold. You feel lonely. And you're like, I'm putting so much energy and time and attention into this connection. Why do I feel like this? Okay? And some of you Libras, you guys are social people. Like, seriously. And it's like, you you get lonely. It's It's very interesting. Right? Don't you think? Every time you have a falling out with this person, you just feel lonely. You feel left out in the cold. Even if you're the one who's like, get out of my energy, bro. You know, like, whatever, it is, whoever it is, sis, whatever. Like, you're just thinking, like, I feel lonely. Why do I feel like this? I, I got so much love for this person. I put so much into this connection. Right? Wow. Oh. Yep. Communication. Communication is off. Like what I said earlier, you have to express how you feel. This conversation needs to take place in order for this to move forward, okay? Um... Oh my God, I keep getting this. You might be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio, okay? Or you could have that in your chart. This, These emotions need to be expressed, okay? This conversation, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation needs to take place, but it has to be structured is what I'm getting. You have to restructure the whole thing, okay? Because look at what's underneath there. <clears throat> you know what I'm getting, you guys, with this? The heart-to-heart -heart is going to have, a, like, a purging of emotions for both of you. Um, there's crying. I'm seeing crying. Like, you got to get down to the crying, Libra. If you've been holding back or this person has been, you guys need to cry it out. Like, for real. I'm, I'm, because... Somebody's really holding on to their emotions here, their feelings. Maybe that's what the heart needs, okay? It's, it's very healing, by the way. Crying is very healing. So this is what needs to happen, okay? Because for some of you, you feel like this was is very one-sided. Even though you put your heart, your soul, your time, your attention into this connection, you feel like it's one-sided. Okay, this needs to happen, the purging of emotions from one another. One person, yeah, more than the other, but things need to be said, okay? And I feel like you've been holding on to what, what whoever's watching... You've been holding on to a lot of emotions, not letting this person know. Wow, there's a lot of expression that needs to come to the surface. I'm going to pull one more card. I mean, it can't get better than the Ace of Cups. But I want you to get there, Libra. I want you to get there. I know you might be frustrated at this person, but I want you to get there. Especially if you're the one who is... You know, the spiritualist, call it what you want. You need to enable this, okay? So have that purging, have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. And you, some of you, um, either you're ignoring them or they're ignoring you. No, get into their face. Like this, I don't mean that way, but you know what I mean? I mean, like, you got to have this conversation face-to-face, Face to face. Spirit is saying no communication through text. You know, not over the phone. Yeah. Exactly. This is not over. It's not over. Some of you might think it's over. It's not over. Okay. There's a new beginning. Oh, oh my. Libra. Look. This is the commitment card. This is the marriage card. This is the hierophant, um, hierophant, obviously. This is the Taurus card. 
This is about commitment. Okay? It's not over. You might think it's over, whatnot. I know you're ready to walk, Libra. For some of you, I know you're ready to walk. Spirit is saying the last draw. The last draw. The last push. Give it your last push. Because when this happens, okay, this purging of emotions, there is a completely different transformation of your connection coming in, okay? A transformation of your connection that's going to really uh, validate things for you. Take that how it resonates in your situation. Validate things for you is what I'm getting. I like this. I love this. And the next, if you wanted to take this commitment to another... Um, you know, level of commitment. It is possible. It's in the cards. And they're saying your connection is not over. Okay, this is very stoic. Don't be like this. Whoever's watching, okay? You need to be vulnerable when it comes to the situation and practice compassion, okay? Even if this is the person you're dealing with. The person is like, very cold, stoic, whatever, like, I'm getting like very frozen faced when you're just like very light and airy and, you know, la-di-da, um, still have compassion for this person. They're like that because they're a product of their environment, okay, of how they grew up. Okay, so what message for my Libras? Thank you, Libra, for all your support with this channel. I really appreciate it. I'm going to pull another message for you for my Libras, September, or whatever they watch this. Yeah, things are not as they appear. The lower the price of your love, the higher its value. Brain freeze, right? I'm going to say it again. The lower the price of your love, the higher its value. So you've been putting limitations, Libra, lately on this love. And it's because you're frustrated. Um, because things are not working out for you. You're really frustrated and you're like, okay, I'm not going to put my love anymore into this connection. I'm going to put, a, I'm going to pull back, you know, I'll give them this much, but not, you know, you're kind of keeping tabs is what I want to say. But spirit is saying your love is more valuable when you give more, when you don't value, you don't put value on how much love you're giving. Okay. I hope that makes sense to you because this is hard for me, to, but spirit is, you know, telling me how to say it. So love freely is what it's saying, okay? That means giving this person the benefit of the doubt because things are not as they appear. You might be thinking this person doesn't love me. Oh, they're already on to someone else. You might be thinking... You know, this is, they're never going to commit to me. They're just stuck and I'm so sick of dealing with this. But spirit wants to let you know things are not that as they appear. Just like I said, when you, in the beginning, you are manifesting this. You are manifesting, don't doubt it. Okay, don't doubt your skills because things are not as they appear. All right, Leaps, I hope that has helped you in some way. If it has, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe if you haven't. It. it does help the channel and for me to create more videos to help all. And I wish you all the best this month. And I will see you all soon. Take care. Bye.